It's that time of the year where we are really excited for the upcoming games in 2020. So smash that like button and click on subscribe because I will be listing down top 5 most anticipated PC games in 2020. If you like the demon hunting shooting game of Doom, then you must be very excited for the new game coming out by the name of Doom Eternal. At E3 2019, Doom Eternal showcased a new gameplay with a lot of new features added to it, such as grappling hook, a shoulder mounted flamethrower and a laser axe. I mean that looks pretty good. And they also introduced battle mode which is Doom's new take on multiplayer. Originally, it was planned to be released in November of this year, but in October, it was announced that it has been delayed to March 2020. It has been estimated that this game would be longer than Doom 2016, which would be around 18 to 22 hours. And to be honest, the longer, the better. At Gamescon, Bethesda unveiled The Hunter, one of the most formidable enemies in Doom Eternal, so which means you are tasked to kill him, as usual. <laughs> Well, good luck to those people who played this game in the highest difficulty mode. The game will also have twice as many demons compared to Doom 2016, but it is actually unclear whether twice means double the amount of enemies or new enemies. Doom Battle Mode will be a 1v2 competitive mode where one Doom Slayer takes on two player controlled demons in a match of skills versus strategy. The demons appear to have all unique movement options and abilities while the Doom Slayer can make use of the game's huge arsenal of weapons. They want battle mode to be as much about strategy as reflexes which could be really unique. It is time to destroy all those demons as this game comes out in March next year. After a damn huge success of Dying Light, which for a lot of people is one of their favorite zombie games of all time, they are now building a new sequel named Dying Light 2. And we got a new taste of it in E3 this year with more parkour, more combat and more new additions to the game. E3 2019 showed an immersive demo of the world of Dying Light 2 with its new parkour system, combat and story driven choices. And we also see new traversal gadgets like pulley that zip Aiden to a rooftop, a swinging hook and a glider. The game is set 15 years after the first game and your goal is to retrieve an object that will change the future of mankind. And what that could be? Well, most probably water because that is the most important thing right now in that world. As the demo showed, this game has doubled the parkour from Dying Light and this time you have narrative choices that will change the story of your game where in the demo it was shown how the city will transform based on the decision you take which is just another exciting way to turn a story around. Dying Light 2 will also have a map 4 times bigger than Dying Light where there are clock towers, banners hanging around with increase in population and not only that, people can now do more in this game like using a blade on the banner to slide down just like in Prince of Persia games and there are ropes and cables to swing by. The combat is being the same but it looks like you can craft more and more stuff and crafting in general has expanded and there will be 50 new combos you can apply to your weapons. Nothing has been shown for the night times of the game but it is there just as in the old games. The game is coming out in spring 2020 which means somewhere around February to March next year. Whoa, 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 whoa. easy there big guy, you're not status report. Halo 6 which is known as Halo Infinite is coming out next year which was revealed with a much bigger trailer in this year's E3. 343 Industries have been working on a new game engine that will enhance the graphics and also have more changes coming by in the future. And according to the rumor, the team behind this game is trying to make the story adapt to decision made by the player and the game may have more RPG elements than its prior games. The game was built with PC in mind so yes, it's definitely coming to PC. Master Chief is the protagonist and is set after the events of Halo 5. Mr. Chief got a newish look with the helmet in particular because it feels like an update to his armor in the original Halo. It seems like events of Halo Wars 2 will also have an impact in Halo Infinite along with the events in Halo 5 but it is actually unknown whether there will be any type of crossover. 
Halo Infinite will also have multiplayer mode and it is also confirmed that there will be local 4 player split screen multiplayer. And it's also been rumored to have a battle royale of some sorts, which is... Well, okay, I guess. Forge is back in Halo Infinite and this time it's been developed by co-developer Skybox Labs, the studio behind Halo 5's PC making tool. Halo Reach was the most recent game that came out this month with a lot of people trying out not only its single player but also its multiplayer and it seems those who were the fans of Halo Reach's armor customization will be pleased by Halo Infinite. No exact dates are mentioned for the release date of the game but it's coming in holiday 2020. I'm gonna head inside, find a way out. Got it. I'm with you every step of the way. A brand new Half-Life is finally revealed after so many years and even though it's not Half-Life 3 to be exact, but it's still pretty exciting and this game is a VR exclusive. Valve has been experimenting on VR with Half-Life and Portal but movements and momentum in Portal were not good enough for VR because you will basically just vomit all around when you play that game but for Half-Life that worked. And so here is why Half-Life Alex is a VR game. And it's also the biggest team Valve ever worked with on a game. This game will be as long as Half-Life 2 and will be a proper VR game and it will feature all hallmarks of classic Halo, world exploration, puzzle solving and combat. Gonna need a gun. Don't worry, it's unloaded. It's unloaded now. The story is set between Half-Life and Half-Life 2 and you are going back to City 17 where Citadel is under construction and you will be controlling Alex, well, a younger version of Alex. While Alex was portrayed by Merle Dandridge in Half-Life 2 but a younger version of Alex will be recasted and will be played by Oziomo Akaga who has starred in other games such as Wolfenstein 2 and Mirror's Edge Catalyst. And obviously it's harder to imagine Half-Life game without G-Man. And yes, he's here. And we will also see the return of Alien Vortigons, who is voiced by Tony Todd. Alex's father will also be in the game, but since the original voice actor is no more, he had to be recasted. Alex will also have gravity glove, similar to that of gravity gun, and it will be used in a similar fashion to lift, pull, and throw things around. And we also see that in trailer. And of course there are head crabs but now you will be experiencing them coming to your head in a very different way which could be scary at times. <laughs> Another most important thing about this game is that this game is compatible with any VR headsets which is actually quite amazing. Half-Life Alex is coming out on March 2020. Wake the fuck up samurai. We have a city to burn. Cyberpunk 2077 is probably the most anticipated game of 2020 and people are already hyped up about this game and after E3 2019 with Keanu Reeves in it, the game is just more breathtaking. You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG game made by CD Projekt Red who made the Witcher series and will be a sci-fi based world. CD Projekt Red already have live streamed a full 15 minute gameplay demo where the world design, character creation and side quests were shown. Cyberpunk involves a lot of first person shooting although while driving it switches back to third person. The game is chaotic and fast paced and in demo the main character V ducked and peeked around cover to spray a gang of organ scavengers with bullets from her automatic pistol. This character V has a lot of abilities including triggering a slow motion bullet time mode, quick dash and when both of them are combined she could quickly flank enemies. Character creation is also included in the game and it's been told that this game will allow gamers to give as much customization as possible and you can change your stats such as strengths and intelligence and also a cool stat which determines how you can handle stress. Talking about Keanu Reeves, his character is named Johnny Silverhand which to be honest was first introduced in the 1988 tabletop game of Cyberpunk. But in this game Johnny Silverhand is already dead and lives in V's head as a digital ghost and you might think he's a side character but he's not. He's very much a main character. The Night City is more alive and bustling with city being massive. It features 6 districts with no loading screens in between them and it's not so sure how dynamic this world is but it does look so goddamn beautiful. And also there's romantic scenes. 
and you can do a lot more in that as well. Cyberpunk 2077 is coming out on April 16th, 2020. Well, here we are, top 5 most anticipated games of 2020. Let me know in the comments below which game are you most excited about. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to join Gamer Connect community on Facebook where we have active discussions every day and join Gamer Connect Discord where you can post your submission for the next GCS episode. Check out my YouTube channel as well where I stream games like Call of Duty, Apex Legends and make other videos as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a happy new year.